Hi there, neighborhood mystics. It's time for another sunrise chat. Uh, I turned my air conditioning off to see. Yesterday there was a lot, there was this like interference noise coming through. Not sure what that was. It could be because I'm driving a hybrid. So I don't know if it has something to do with the electrical components of the car. But anyway, we'll see if turning off the AC makes a difference. And that's a sacrifice. It's already 77 degrees here this morning and very humid. But anyway, um, I find it quite ironic that I decided to start a daily astro vlog when there's really not much going on. <laughs> like I was looking at the aspects this weekend. There's not a lot going on. There's not a lot going on today. And I kind of want to keep it a daily talk, although I definitely prefer to look at astrological cycles from a bird's eye view, but for the purposes of this video, I, you know, I, I wanted to go day by day. So what caught my eye today was Mars. So I want to talk about Mars, Mars, what it, Mars is going to be doing for the next year plus, what it is doing in my chart what it might be doing in your chart maybe I'll make another video that's an expansion of this video here I don't know but let's talk about Mars um, so Mars is doing some interesting things um, we had Mars opposite Pluto a couple weeks ago we had the full moon in Capricorn with Mars was opposing that full moon. Um, so it was evolved in the full moon. Right now we have Mars, which I mentioned yesterday, Mars under the beams of the sun. So within 10 degrees of the sun, eight and a half degrees of the sun. Um, I don't want to get in arguments about the exact degrees, but basically Mars is under the beams. It's invisible right now. Uh, it's getting ready to conjunct the sun, which it will do uh, a little later this month. I wrote the dates down, but I'm going around a curve, so I can't tell you right now. It's, um, uh, uh, Mars into Leo. Um, Mars will go into Leo on the 20th. Oh my God, this is bad. Um, 26th, Mars conjunct the sun on the 26th. Okay, so Mars conjunct the Sun on the 26th, um, and then Mars will be conjunct the North Node on the Eclipse, on the Great American Eclipse, which I'm definitely making a video about that. So that's on the 21st, I believe August 21st, yes, August 21st is the Great American Eclipse. Mars will be conjunct the North Node. Then next year when we have a lunar eclipse in Aquarius Mars will be Mars will conjunct the south node and then the next day there'll be an eclipse so Mars is definitely uh, in service shall we say to this north node in Leo so I think it's kind of an important time you know it's a time to take a look at Mars and what how Mars shows up in your life, uh, in your chart, how you feel about Mars. So the, one of the big things with Mars, or one of the big ways we can discuss Mars, is Mars is the power of no. And I think it certainly has been for my life, so, or in my chart. You know, Mars shows up as the power of no. So, how you know, look at your Mars, and how able are you to say, no, I'm not doing that. No, I don't want that. Or, yes, I do want that. Yes, I'm going for it. Because Mars is that drive that makes you go after things or makes you protect things. Because that's what Mar one of the, you know, the higher sides of Mars is, is as a protector. Because like police and firemen and all that, they're, they're under Mars because they're, their job is to protect, to serve and protect, right? A higher power, which would be the sun. So that's what I'm saying, this Mars sun dance, Mars then the node dance, because the node is in Leo, so it's ruled by the sun. So we're, we're automatically pulling the sun into this story. So 
Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard this. It's like, is is this a, 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 a no or is it a hell yes? So, like, if you're going to say, you know, when you have a lot of things going on and a lot of possibilities and a lot of people asking you to do things, you know, some people will give you the advice to say, okay, look at it and say, is it, is it, a, is it, a, is it a no or is it a hell yes? If it's not a hell yes, then make it a no. So this is kind of like exercising your Mars power. So how does that fill in, fit into the bigger picture? We've had Jupiter opposite Uranus uh, throughout all of this year. I believe we'll have the last conjunction in September, maybe before Jupiter goes into uh, Scorpio. And believe me, I'm looking forward to that because I have that Uranus and Jupiter opposition in my fourth and tenth houses. So it's like this work work life balance. I mentioned that I work too much and it's just like too it's just too much. And you know, since it's on an angle for me and some of my other planets, it's been very powerful for me. So this idea of too much, too much, too much, everything's too much. There's too much going on. There's I'm just there's not enough of me to go around. So by the fall that should taper off. And I think that this Mars activity is going to be part of what will help people including myself say no to certain things because you're gonna you're gonna have to say no to certain things and so if it's not a hell yes if it's not something that really makes you excited and gets you stoked then you're gonna have to say uh, no so that's what I was thinking about this you know this whole Mars activity and in, in with the Sun and the North Node. Uh, just a little side note, my Mars, my natal Mars is at 8 degrees Leo and my Sun is at 25 degrees Leo so that means my Sun, I mean my the, my Mars phase is that Mars was in, approaching the Sun getting ready to conjunct and create a new phase which is what this is the time period we're in right now. We have uh, Mars very close to the Sun getting ready to conjunct the Sun which like I said it will do in Leo four degrees Leo later this month and start and start a new phase so that's so I'm gonna ha I'm having a Mars return I'm having a Mars phase return and then I'll have an actual Mars on top of Mars uh, early in August so that's a two-year cycle Mars is two years it's a two-year cycle and um, Mars is Mars is the ruler of my midheaven in Scorpio, so I tend to change jobs every two years. You know, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a joke with myself now, but it's like, I'm not afraid to change jobs, I'll tell you that much. And uh, that's where my Mars gets activated, where Mars says, I'm out of here, hell no, bye. So, we'll see how that plays out. Um, I could go into more details about that, but I'm, I'm not going to at this point. But so just know that this new Mars cycle is is coming up. So part of the way you can look at it is, you know, okay, look at look at your own Mars. Like my my natal Mars at eight degrees Leo. Okay, it's approaching the sun. It rises before the sun, um, and it was visible, and it's in a fire sign. However, it makes no aspects to any other planets. There's no, there's what is called peregrine. My Mars doesn't make any, any aspects. So I think that could be part of the problem. Well, part of the reason I kind of have trouble with my Mars, my, or Mars can they kind of denote trouble in, in my life because it's like Mars is kind of acting alone, which is not a good thing, which I mentioned earlier, because like Mars should be in service to something. And so my Mars is usually acting alone. So that's where I just go in hell no I'm out of here you know or I, I don't tell people off that much but I mean if I can really get pushed you know then I'll then I'll do it and it's usually doesn't go it doesn't go well when you tell people off so and that's just what I'm talking about so look at your own Mars you know is it is it in a sign that's compatible to Mars like a fire sign or is it like uh, exalted in Capricorn or is it in a water sign where like Mars does not it's not really into the water so much you know Mars in Cancer which is what it's still in Cancer now 
not into it. Not really, you know, that's, you know, that's the warrior coming home and then not being able to deal with being there and not, not being in a, in a militant situation anymore. You know, and th- th- that doesn't mean you, that, you know, your Mars can't do anything if it's a water sign, but it just, it, it behaves differently. So, you know, we're starting a cycle where Mars is going to conjunct the sun in Leo, so it's going to be kind of like a, a fire cycle type thing. So does, is that, does, you know, is that uh, compatible with your Mars? You know, if it's, in, like I said, if it's in water, probably not so much. Um, if it's in Earth, you know, get things done, or do you have, a, you know, do you have an air of Mars where it's like you like to think about things and maybe not do things so much? So that's how you use astrology in your everyday life, and that's really what I'd like to do with, uh, partly, partly with this channel to show you. But it's, you know, uh, astrology is so complex; it's really hard to break it down far enough where people can follow you. Like, I may have lost you in this video where I'm talking about all these different phases of Mars and Mars conjunct the Sun and Mars conjunct the North Node and all of that kind of stuff. So, I don't, I don't know, but just know that um, Mars has got some stuff going on with the Sun and the North Node, and it wants to be in service to this archetype of Leo, who is the king who is inspiration, who is creativity, who isn't afraid to shine, who isn't afraid to get out there and, and spread their message um, and have fun and all that, all that kind of, you know, Leo grandiosity, you know, and with the North Node, North Node makes things bigger and Leo's kind of bigger, so it's kind of, we got big personalities and making a splash and like I said not being afraid to, to speak up and show who you really are and and shine so think about how for the next well we've got the the, the north node in Leo for at least through the end of next year through the end of 2018 probably into 2019 um, and then we have that whole Mars cycle and I'm not so that'll be two years so that'll be 2019. Yeah, so for the, you know, for the next year and a half, two years, you know, how can you step into a bigger life and shine and not be afraid to shine and, you know, and let people, let people see you and also make choices like if it's, if it needs to be a hell yes. It needs to be a hell yes, not just yeah or hell no, but it needs to be a hell yes. Otherwise, it's a no. That's be that's exercising your Mars. So I talked a lot. Don't know if that was helpful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.